Just a wrap-up of the work session and the regular council meeting for the City of Grand Rapids for Monday, September 24th. Uh, the work session was pretty much focused around Chapter 66 of the Traffic and Vehicles, some changes that we've done that have not been out there and not been reviewed since 1978. So there's a lot of follow-up work that had to be done there, and you'll be seeing that in summary form coming out in the papers at some point in time as far as the changes that we have made. Um, let's skip right away over to the council meeting. We had uh, actually... A lot, of, a lot of stuff on the consent agenda, not a lot on the regular council meeting, but uh, a couple of things on the consent agenda was the uh, work. We have postponed some of the capital improvements. The bid for the capital improvements for the fire hall came in at a couple hundred thousand dollars higher than we had anticipated, so we are going to hold off on that. Uh, what we are hoping to do is work with the county and the plans that they need to have uh, with jail and expansion over at the county along with the remodeling at City Hall here and stuff and uh, put it off until sometime next year to try and figure out what we can do, how we can do it, and what's the appropriate uh, means to accomplish what we need to do as a city and what the county needs to do. So with that, uh, that, was, that was postponed. We did... Um, go into uh, some project funding for the uh, proposed assessments and um, with that the certification of our 2018-2019 collectible levy that was set and there will be some meetings and here's the important dates. December 3rd, 2018, 6 o'clock to dis discuss the proposed budget. So if you're out there and you'd like to come in, you'd like one last opportunity to talk about our proposed budget for 2019 put down December 3rd for that. Also December 17th at uh, 2018 to do the final levy and budget. So there's two opportunities to come in and talk to us as we work through that budget. Department head report this evening was uh, community development. Rob was in and talked a little bit about uh, the numbers for the city of Grand Rapids. The building permits and stuff are close to what they've been in the past, but the dollars expensed for this year are slightly below what we had been seeing. Uh, I think we'd been talking that a good year was 20 to 30 million dollars of new construction, whether it's commercial, residential, or government. Uh, this year we are sitting through uh, the eighth month of the year at about six, a little over six and a half million dollars worth of, of projects and stuff. But uh, as I talk a little bit later on, on some of the development that's coming up here, you'll see that the out years after this year are looking pretty good. We had an opportunity to fund awarding of bonding through Ehlers. Rebecca Kurtz was up and talked about our sale of 1.96 million of general obligation street reconstruction bonds. Uh, we were estimating that those bonds were going to be at roughly about 3.4 percent, but because of the AA minus stable rating of the city of Grand Rapids, we were able to get those bonds uh, purchased out there at about 3.16 percent. Uh, what they looked at that uh, helped with the sale of those bonds at that is we've got, we're at 59 percent of our operating expenses, so which means that from a revenue standpoint and a reserve standpoint, we're sitting in very good position. And we also, they took a look at what our debt uh, will be. And we're at about 80 percent of our debt will be paid off in about 10 years. So the city of Grand Rapids is doing a great job of making sure that those costs are not being pushed out and burdensome on future years and future councils and residents. So public hearings this night. We had uh, Rob come in, talk about our small cities development program. We've got Ted businesses that are out there that are looking at uh, funding and remodeling some of their businesses. Um, can't go through all of them right now, but we are also looking at residential ones. We have nine residential uh, permits that have been requested. Uh, you can get up to 70 percent, $22,400, uh, 70 percent of that. If you're in your property after seven years, that amount is forgiven, you know. So that's a great way to do some rehabbing and stuff of properties. We expanded it from the original one, and we are including a second area. So if you're going out the river road around uh, Casey's and that uh, about six or seven square block area back there, that's the additional area that we'll be looking at that. 
Second public hearing this evening was to talk about the establishment of a TIF district that is going to be vital in the redevelopment of the Sawmill Inn property. So uh, rebound was up. Uh, Brett Reese, Scott Kester, and Jennifer Ryla Sawyer were up and they talked to us. They gave a presentation along with Rod's presentation of their willingness and their ability to come into Grand Rapids to complement their work in Northfield and some businesses that they have in Iowa and what it is going to allow us to do uh, starting sometime here in the fall and over the winter they will be demoing the sawmill property in the spring they will be building a new 82 unit uh, motel hotel there are five parcels of property up there they'll be working with uh, uh, another developer to put in uh, some other some other uh, projects out there. Uh, Boomtown is the one that they are fairly comfortable with at this point in time that's going to have the restaurant and a brew pub and stuff. So as that project develops, uh, we're looking at uh, the TIF district at $91,000 of revenue coming in on the tax side of it. At some point in time, as it's fully developed, will be over $300,000 of tax uh, implications for the city of Grand Rapids. So. The TIF funding is great in that it allows a business to come in and look at Grand Rapids and to get a project going that might not otherwise have gone but for the TIF funding out there. So we are very happy to have uh, round development coming in and looking at Grand Rapids. So if you're out there and you're wondering when, we're looking at the spring of 2020 that that would be hopefully open up for business. And uh, once again, thanks to Brett and Scott and Jennifer coming up and pushing uh, Grand Rapids as a development site for, for their company. With that, uh, I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in about two weeks. It is getting into the fall time, so uh, take a little bit of time to get out and look at the color and uh, maybe you can do it. Maybe we'll get some sunny days around here. So thanks and have a good evening.